Alright guys, so I want to take a couple minutes out of your day and tell you my story. So if you know me, this introduction is not going to matter, but if you do not, my name is Tommy Riggin, and I'm just a kid from Gurney, Illinois, who's on a mission to change his life. Grew up a great life in Gurney, played sports, had friends, and you know, everything was great. <clears throat> With that being said, I was bullied as a kid, and you know, I was always a fat kid, I always got made fun of. It made really going to school tough at times, I, things I didn't really want to tell anyone was the fact that I was bullied, you know. It, being, being a fat kid isn't easy, <laughs> you really aren't a societal norm. People don't look at you and typically think you're attractive, you're usually the quote-unquote funny one in the group, but really you're the one being made fun of. And luckily I had a group of friends from the neighborhood that didn't make fun of me, you know, they made life really easy, but at the same time they were younger, so I only got to see them here and there. But you know, growing up I had very supportive parents, very supportive siblings, and just family, and they made, you know, a lot of things easy for me. And I was, you know, good high school athlete. I got recruited from a few colleges, stuff like that. Um, but still, you know, I had a lot of insecurities. I played them off like it was nothing, and being overweight was really hard. You know, by senior year, I think I got up to 270, uh, I think that was a high point, and I wanted to get my life on track, so, you know, I got in shape to go off and play college football, and I got out, down to about 253, it was my first day of practice in college football, that's what I weighed, <laughs> and I quickly shot up to 298 pounds, and I'm like 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 and I mean, being that weight is not okay. I was told I was obese, I was, you know, I heard all these things and I just didn't carry it. I was like, oh, a doctor doesn't know what they're talking about, you know, I have a lot of muscle mass, whatever it may be. And I was living a lifestyle I didn't really want to be in, but I didn't know how to cope with my issues. So, I was partying three to four times during my week. I missed classes, and I was, wasn't doing well in cl classes that were easy. And it really took a toll on my life. I drank heavily, and I woke up one day, and I didn't like what I saw in the mirror. And what I saw in the mirror was 298-pound man. You know, at the age of 19, you are a man, and that's the time you need to start making decisions. And it was a little bit after my birthday, and on my birthday, I knew, my 19th birthday, I knew I had an issue. I went to B-dubs, I ate a large order of wings. That's 28 wings, <laughs> and I was still hungry after. So it's just one of those things that was hard to cope with at first started going back to the gym, started getting in shape, and I was able to go home at the end of my sophomore or freshman year, second semester. Went home and I was weighing around 278, 284 pounds, so I didn't really lose much while I was at college because I was still going out and partying. I left my college and went home and went to a community college. And the reason I picked community college was I didn't get into the university that I actually wanted to go to. And mainly that was my fault. I could have had better grades. It's not that I was failing or doing anything, but to be a business major, you do have to meet certain requirements. So I went to community college. While I went to a community college, I was working at a gym. And the gym where I was working at is where my parents were training at. My mom was um, a figure competitor in NPC, and she was doing really well. 
and luckily her coach owned the gym and offered me a job. And I instantly said yes. Working at that gym was probably the best thing to ever happen to me. So I started working out every day, right before work. And mainly I was just lifting weights and I was eating right. I prepped my meals before going to work. I would eat breakfast in the morning, go to work, go to the gym around 11 or noon, and I'd start work around 4. So it was just, it was routine, and it felt great to be in a routine. As you wake up, you go to school, you kind of do your stuff, and then you go to gym, the gym, and then you go to work. So I started to progress along, and my mom's coach saw potential in me. He asked if I wanted to start prepping for shows, and you know, it felt good to be asked, but I still had that doubt in me, you know, and it was doubt that I really didn't let reach out beyond what was internally happening inside of me. You know, when you are insecure, some people like to lash out or take it out on others. Me, I was really holding in every issue that I had. So I started prepping for a show. I set out to do one in July. It was going to be the Wings of Strength competition. And through those months, I worked hard. I did everything my coach asked of me, and I progressed along very well. At the end of uh, my prep and everything, I lost a total of 98 pounds. I was able to get, you know, around, the, I was at 200 pounds. It felt great. <laughs> and, you know, I went into posing with Kenny Wallach, and, you know, Kenny just gave me a, critiqued me. He did everything he could. He's the best posing coach in the world. <laughs> And my coach's coach told me to take a year off. And at that moment, I felt like a failure. I felt that I didn't achieve a goal that I set out to be. And I felt like that for a very long time. And will, I will reflect back on the pictures from that prep. And I look at myself now and it hurts, you know. I am in, back in 220, which is where I t was told to go, and for a while I really hated the way I looked, and it was because prepping is actually really unhealthy mentally. You get down such a low weight, such a low body fat percentage that you think that is capable of having year-round. But now I'm comfortable with where I am. I am cutting and I'm on a mission to beat the last physique that I had and which was the one prepping for a show. I would like to come in a lot lighter, less body fat, and just prove myself that I'm capable of doing everything that I've set my mind to. I'm at the university that I don't want to be at now, DePaul University in Chicago. I'm making my way through life how I want to. I'm training every day, I'm going to class, and I'm really on a path to better things. And great things, great opportunities have happened to me over the course of, it's now two, almost two years, almost two years since I've started this journey. Uh, it will be two years in June um, of this year. and. Over the time, I have gained a sponsorship. I've gained profiles on Instagram who have well over 20,000, 80,000 followers, whatever it may be, who now follow me, who now see the inspiration that I'm trying to put out. And I'm really trying to motivate the masses with my story. You know, I posted a transformation picture which was from when I was 298 pounds and my transformation from with that I posted right next to it the picture of when I posed with Kenny Wallach and I was 207 pounds and I felt great and the picture got 150 likes or so on Instagram 180 so on Facebook and 
you know, comments and all these things. I got direct messages and it felt amazing. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't crying. Um, those insecurities, I told myself, you know, for this new year, any insecurity that I had the pre previous years need to go. I didn't want to post a picture of me being 298 pounds, have beer belly, moves, all these things. And um, it was tough. I didn't know the response I would get. I wasn't really looking for anything in particular. I wasn't looking for messages saying, like, you motivate me so much, you do this, you do that. And I'm really thankful for you guys who support me. And I hope you guys continue to support me on my journey. I would like to start doing more videos on YouTube when I have the time. And I'd really love to continue motivating. And I would like to say a lot of thanks to my family my wonderful girlfriend and just thank you for everyone else who supported me, friends, you know, I've always had people in my corner and now I'm starting to get strangers in my corner who will soon become new friends and I'd like to say thank you to my sponsorship, RSP Nutrition, you guys have been the best thing to ever happen to me, you guys supported me and took a chance really with putting me on and I really hope I can continue to do great work so thank you guys for tuning in and please like this video share this video and just tell me you know how you guys feel and stuff like that and thank you so much